YouTube, how you doing? My name is Chris Brown and welcome to Tech Solutions for Today, where we aim to make home entertainment entertaining. This is a second part video, um, a three part series on content. We're examining local content, that is content that you actually own, hence digital file versus digital disk. We won't be talking about the content that you can actually pay for uh, from providers you know, your cable and satellite, because that really depends on very much where you live in the world. I mean, the offers are very different between Australia, the UK, the US, Canada, that you actually need to actually be um, in the city where you live in order to know. I mean, even internet providers, um, Hulu and Boxy and all the famous ones, really depend on you living in the United States or developing some overly complicated proxy system in order to bypass, you know, the, um, the limitations, the copyright limitations of certain websites. Um, we'll just be limiting ourselves to local content, the content that you can own, that you can use, and you can decide where, when, and how, um, which I think gives us the most freedom. It's not the easiest, but I think it gives you the, the, the best overall user experience. Here, this is my Mac Mini Media Center. Um, I have a Drobo attached to my Mac Mini, as you remember from the setup video. Um, it's FireWire 800, it's a second gen um, Drobo. Um, and as you can see, I have actually seven terabytes of overall storage. That's one one terabyte and three two terabyte drives. Now, those of you unfamiliar with just what a Drobo is, I mean, it is a RAID-like system of hard drives. It's an enclosure where you can put in your own hard drives and it will actually format the drives in such a way to give you certain data redundancy. Now, as you can see here, just um, as looking over my, my Drobo dashboard, you can see that I, I have 4.51 terabytes of storage, yet I have 7 terabytes of, um, of actual physical disks. Now, what happens with Dobo is it has its own RAID-like system, um, a redundancy system, where a certain percentage, a portion of your overall storage, is dedicated to um, primary storage and the second part to backup. Hence, I only have 4.51 rather um, terabytes of storage with the other 2.5 being used as, as backup at the moment. Now, why I like the Drobo and overall? Um, its technological advantage is that it is extremely simple to use and to set up. I mean, there is no matching of drives, which is a bit of a pain, especially if you have a lot of you know, over, um, out of your own drive left over that you might want to use. Um, I didn't have a lot of two terabyte drives um, hanging around at the time because I wanted to maximize my, uh, my storage. But you can put in a 250 gigabyte, a 500 gigabyte, a one terabyte, a two terabyte drive. As you can see, I have different, style, uh, different size drives myself. Um, and it will actually format it in such a way that um, it will just appear as, as one large local volume. Now, a lot of people complain about the speed of Drobo. Sure, if you've got to shunt files and, and every day it's a question of backing up and accessing um, huge data files, uh, for copying and moving and transferring, then yes, the Drobo is not very fast. But the FireWire 800 connection, together with the, um, the fact that you're, you're just watching the movies and streaming uh, movies, either to my Mac uh, Mini, uh, hooked up to the TV here by HDMI, or the Apple TV itself, it's perfectly, perfectly fine. Um, it works, I mean, you can actually stream two um, relatively large HD video files, um, plus I can stream music as well, and it doesn't drop a frame. Um, I find that to be quite excellent. Um, again, if you're looking for absolute speed and backup and data transfer, no, it's not the best system. But for, for a Mac Media Mini, Cent uh, Mac Mini Media Center, um, without doubt, it is an excellent, excellent system. Right, that gave you a bit of an idea of storage. Now we actually want to look at how do you actually access all these movies? Now here before you, I have actually have Plex. I'm running Plex 9 with the Aeon um, skin. I originally tried Plex mm, in its earlier versions and found it to be absolutely unworkable. XBMC, Boxy, um, Plex, I found them to be terrible programs. I must say, now having tried Plex 9, I have had to actually eat my words. Plex 9 is a phenomenal, phenomenal program. I can't believe it's, it's free. It's a free download and it's very simple to, to install. Right, now as you can see I have at the moment um, 669 digital movie files. 
That's quite a lot of movies, and that's not actually all of my movies. I mean, I have another 150 just in iTunes, and we'll get to iTunes um, in a moment. But these are all my own um, DVD and Blu-ray rips. And there you go. Now you can see that the, the biggest advantage of um, having digital files is space saving. I mean, 700 films. And you can imagine just how many video covers that is and, and how, many, how much wall space you need just to be able to place you know, 700 DVD covers on there. Not to mention actually having to find them, get them out, put them in the machine. Remember, you haven't seen them. I mean, the organization ability of, of, of Plex is absolutely unbelievable. I mean, you can keep a track of what you've seen, when you've seen them, when you've added them, when, you, when they were released. I mean, all this information, um, all at your fingertips. I mean, that's the absolute advantage of, um, of, of Plex. Now, what do you think? Um, I've given you a little an oversight of the technological advantage available using sort of the Mac Mini Media Center with, with a Drobo. Now, there are plenty of other options out there. Um, but I found that for the flexibility, the elegance, the ease of use and the style, that this combination has been, has been excellent. Um, my third video, I'll just be going over um, iTunes and a few of the other options that, um, just to round out for, say, for music, which I didn't go over. And you'll see that um, this is a very, very elegant and, and easy solution. Thank you very much for watching YouTube, and I'll, and I'll see you soon in my third video. Rate, comment, subscribe, and let me know.